So, electric potential and field intensity. Okay, so we have first the definition for electric potential. So, electric potential is the uh, results no from the from the location charge bodies in the vicinity so the unit for electric uh, potential is volt no then the distance this one d is in meters so meaning at a certain area if there is a charge so at a certain distance you could feel the force no? because volt is force so that is the electrostatic force so you could feel the force exerted by that charge for example okay so for example this is our charge no u then you are here this is one meter so at this distance no? at this distance you could feel a certain force no but to us, no, that force will be measured in terms of volts. So that is what we mean as electrostatic or electric pot potential. Okay. Then we have electric field intensity. So the force per unit charge that will act at a point in the field on a very small discharge place at that direction. So same, this is also the intensity of the force so if we are going to have this one also the charge this is the test charge no so the vicinity the circular vicinity the same radius at distance so you could feel the same intensity of force so that is what we mean by electric field intensity so the unit for electric field intensity is newton per column then the distance is still in meter no so meter Okay, so we have this one example example calculate the magnitude of the electric field at a point that is 30 centimeter from a point charge of q is equal to negative 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6 okay so our given for this one so we have the charge of 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6. So this is C. This is column. Then our distance is 30 centimeter. No? But from the formula, so we need to convert our distance into meters because the given is centimeters. No? So we have here uh, 1 meter is to 100 centimeter okay so cancel cancel this is equal to so 30 divided 100 that is 0 0.3 meters okay so you see now the formula so e is equal to q over 4 pi sigma sub 0 or sigma sub r times d squared no? so substituting we have our charge is negative so negative so negative 3.2 times 10 to the power of negative 6 column all over 4 pi so our sigma sub 0 this is 8.854 this is constant times 10 to the power of negative 12 our sigma sub r in free, sp free spaces is 1 our d is 0 0.3 word okay so use your calculator in solving Okay, so we have negative 3.2 3 
times 10 raised to the power of negative 6 over 4 sheep sheep pi times 8.854 times 10 raised to the power of negative 12 times 1 so you could just take like 1 times point three third. okay so we have negative uh, negative three hundred thousand uh, three hundred nineteen thousand five hundred sixty four point eighteen so negative Negative three hundred nineteen thousand five hundred sixty four five hundred sixty four point eighteen. So the unit for this one is newtons per column. Okay, next. So, point charges in free space are located as follows. So, we have 5 times 10 to the power of negative 6 at 0, 0 meters. So, 4 times 10 to the power of negative 8 column at 3, 0 meters. And 6 times 10 to the power of negative 8 column at 0, 4 meters. So, find the electric field intensity at 3, 4 meters so if you notice we have here the given uh, magnitude of our distances are all in coordinates uh, so this is x and y coordinate uh, okay so we need to find the electric field intensity at uh, three four meters so for this one we need to create a partition plane partition coordinate system so this is our this is our x and this is our y huh? so at point zero zero so we call this one huh? so point zero zero so this will be our point a so our charge on this one is so for a the charge is five times ten Raised to the power of negative 8 column. So that is, uh, the coordinate is 0, 0. Then next for this one, so 4 times 10 to the power of negative 8. So this is our point B. So at 3, 0. So the 3 here is for the X. Huh? X. So 1, 2, 3. Then the 0 is for the Y. So, so what is this is the line for y so zero is here so our point is this one so this will be our point b so point b is so point b is 4 times 10 to the power of negative 8 column okay the next is the last charge which is negative 6 times 10 to the power of negative 8 column at 0, 4. So the 0 here is the x. So this is the x, 0. 4 is y. So we need to have 4 units up you know, because this is positive. So if this is negative, that is 4 units down. Okay, so 4. So this will be your point C. Huh? So point C is negative 6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 8 columns okay so we need to find the field intensity at this coordinate 3 4 so 3 4 
Okay, 3, 4. So this is 3 for the X. Then you must go up 4 units. Four. This will be our point here. This is our 3, 4. We need to find the electric field intensity. For example, at this point, point A, point B, at point C. Okay? So for A, no? the electric field intensity for A, this is equal to Q A over 4 pi sigma sub R sigma sub 0 D squared. Huh? So your D squared here must be the distance of A. So the distance of A to point P. Huh? So how we are going to get the distance from point A to point P? Okay, so if you are going to have this, this line here, so you could form a right triangle. So this distance is just the hypotenuse of your triangle. So how you are going to get the hypotenuse? Using Pythagorean theorem, no? So dA is equal to square root of, so the the first distance is this horizontal distance. So from A to P, this is 3. So you have here 3 squared. Then from, from your B to going up, that is 4. So plus 4 squared. So your DA is equal to square root of 9 plus 16. So we have square root of 25 so your da is equal to 5 so substituting no? so your electric field intensity at a is equal to so your qa is 5 times 10 raised to the power of negative 8 column over 4 pi times 8.854 times 10 is the power of negative 12 times 1 times 5 squared. So using your calculator. So negative 12 times 5 squared, 55. Okay, so the answer is 17.98. So your field intensity at point A is 17.98. So this is Newton per column. Negative 12. Five squared. Okay, next is at point B. No? Point B. So what is the electric field intensity at point B? B. Ok, 
Okay, so point B. So your AB is equal to the charge on B over 4 pi times sigma sub 0, sigma sub r d squared. So this is the distance of point B from A to P. So this distance, so what is the value of this one? This line. 4. 4. So your D, B is equal to 4. Because point B is, uh, point P is 4 units up. No? So then you substitute the given. So your B is 4 times 10 to the power of negative 8. So 4 times 10 raised to the power of negative 8 column. Your value in the denominator is 4 pi. That is 8.854 times 10 is power of negative 12 then you have 1 then your db is 4 squared so calculate you again so 4 times 10 is the power of negative 8 over 4 shift by times 8.854 times 10 raised to the power of negative 12. Ha? Nasa? Okay. So times 1 times 4 squared. Times 4 squared. Equals. So 22.47. So 22.47 Newton per column. The last one will be EC. Fill the intensity at point C. This is QC over 4 pi sigma sub 0 sigma sub R D C squared. So what is the value of your distance of point C to point P? So this distance. 3. Okay, so 3. So we have Subshooting, so this is 3, so you have the value of charge C is negative 6, negative 6 times 10 raised to the power of negative 8 column over 4 pi times 8.854 times 10 raised to the power of negative 12 times 1 times 3 squared okay so using your calculator we have negative 6 times 10 is the power of negative 8 over 4 shift pi times 8 Point eight five four times ten raised to the power of negative twelve times three squared. So negative fifty nine point ninety two. No, so negative fifty nine point ninety two. So this is Newton per column. Okay. So now we go to electric. Electrostatic potential. No? So find the electrostatic potential on charge 4 microcoulomb at 3, 4 with respect to the origin. 4 micro. So this is the sign for 
micro no? so micro so micro is equal to times 10 to the power of negative 6 10 to the power of negative 6 Okay, so you need to find the, elect the electrostatic potential. So your charge is located at 3, 4. So 1, 2, 3. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is your 4 micro column. So this is the coordinates is 3, 4. Okay. Then you need to find the static potential at the origin. So what is the coordinate for origin? Origin. So 0, 0. So this is the origin. So you need to find the electrostatic potential at this point. So to solve that one, so we have E is equal to Q over this is that E. The electrostatic potential, so this is B. The E is for electric field intensity. So 4 pi, then sigma sub 0, sigma sub R. This is D. So no more squared. So the formula for electric field intensity will be squared, but for the electrostatic potential, there is no need to square the distance. Because you are only solving the uh, the effect of force, you know? so that's why the distance will just be a uh, linear distance. You know? So the field intensity that is the effect in the whole field, in the whole area. So that so that's why your d is squared. But the unit for area is squared, so mo nang naate squared. But for this one, it is just linear. So you're just computing the distance. So that's why d. Okay, so what is our charge? So 4 times 10 is the power of negative 6, no? So that is 4 micro, that is 10 to the power of negative 6 is 4 micro. Then we have 4 pi to sigma sub 0 is 8.854 times 10 is the power of negative 12. Then we have times 1 times... What is the distance? So this is the distance that we are going to get or going to show, to use this distance. So this is, again, this is another right triangle, the hypotenuse. So your D just equal to, so from here this is 3, squared, then going up that is 4. So your D is like the previous example equals to 5. Okay. So using your calculator, which I believe you don't have any calculator. Okay, so 4 xp negative 6. We have 4 if pi times 8.854 times 10 is the power of negative 12. Negative 12 times 5. So 71 or 71. 7190.2. 7, so 7000. 190.2 So the unit for this one is in volts. Okay?